Today, we are going to fix Outlook HTTP 400 bad request problem. Before moving on to the video, don't forget to leave a like. Our first solution is disable extensions and clear Outlook's cache files. To do this, we need to open our browser. After opening our browser, we click on the three dots at the top right and then open settings. After opening settings, we click on privacy and security from the left menu. After that, we click on third party cookies and then we click on see all site data and permissions. Once we have done that, we click on the search bar and search for Outlook. After doing that, we clear Outlook's cache files. We have cleared Outlook's cache files. To disable extensions, we click on extensions from the left menu. After clicking on extensions, we close our extensions. We have turned off our extensions. Now, you can check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to the second solution. The second solution is changing DNS. A problem with our DNS server can cause issues like this. To prevent this, to prevent this, we need to change our DNS. To do this, we click on the search bar and search for control panel. After searching for control panel, we open it. After opening control panel, we click on view network status and tasks. After that, we click on our connection. Once we have done that, we click on properties. From the items list, we select IPv4 and then click properties again. Here, you should tick use the following DNS server addresses. After doing that, set preferred DNS server 1111 and alternate DNS server to 1001. This DNS is belongs to Cloudflare and it is completely safe to use. After setting our DNS, we click on OK to close the tabs. We have changed our DNS. Now, you can check if the problem is solved or not. If you continue to have the problems, we will move on to the third solution. The third solution is using VPN. This kind of problems might be regional. In this case, using a VPN can solve the problem. To add the VPN to our browser, we need to open Chrome Web Store. To open Chrome Web Store, search for Chrome Web Store in the search bar. After doing that, open Chrome Web Store. After doing that, search for VPN in the search bar. Now, you can add any VPN you want to add. If you have a VPN program like me, you can connect it to it either. After connecting to the VPN, you can check if the problem is solved or not. If the problem is not solved, we will move on to the fourth solution. The fourth solution is resetting network. If the root of the problem is our network, resetting it will solve the problem. To reset our network, we come to the search section and type CMD. After doing that, we run CMD as admin. There are a few codes that we need to type in CMD. The codes we will type in CMD will not harm our computer. You can find the codes in the video description below. After typing the codes, we need to restart our computer. After restarting your computer, you can check if the problem is solved or not. If you continue to have problems, we will move on to the fifth solution. Our last but not least solution is changing browser. Sometimes this kind of problems can only occur in specific browsers. In this case, changing browsers will solve the problem. As an alternative to Chrome, you can use Opera, Brave or Firefox. After changing your browser, you can check if the problem is solved or not. In Microsoft's forum, they shared that enabling Outlook on the web solved the problem. This alternative solution is also worth a try. We have come to the end of the video. I hope one of these solutions fixed your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to like the video. You can also subscribe to my channel to support me. Take care and see you in the next video.